Hi, I'm Herb Roy, Technical Sales Manager at Micro Measurements. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bond a CEA strain gauge with our M-Bond 200 adhesive. Prior to performing these operations, the surface must be properly prepared for bonding. Instruction bulletins for surface preparation are available on our website as well as with the adhesive kit. A video that demonstrates proper surface preparation steps is also available. I will be using the following materials. A glass plate, blunt nose tweezers, neutralizer 5, the CEA strain gauge, a prepared aluminum beam, PCT 2M tape, gauze sponge, M-Bond 200 catalyst, M-Bond 200 adhesive. Be sure to check the expiration date on your adhesive before beginning the bonding process. To prepare the gauge for bonding, the following steps are necessary. I will clean the work surface, remove the gauge from the mylar envelope, and apply mylar tape to the gauge. Then I will transfer the gauge tape assembly to the bonding surface and lift the tape to expose the gauge for bonding. It is important that your hands, the work surface, and blunt nose tweezers are clean. I will use gauze and neutralizer 5 to clean the glass and tweezers. We are using a CEA series strain gauge which has polyamide backing, an encapsulating layer, and large copper coated tabs. Carefully remove the mylar folder containing the gauge from the plastic pouch. Hold the mylar folder open in a butterfly fashion. Grasp the gauge carefully at one corner near the tabs without touching the grid area. Place the gauge on the clean work surface with the bonding side down. When properly oriented, the copper tabs will be visible on the top surface of the gauge. Use a 4 inch length of PCT 2M mylar tape to transfer the gauge. Cover the entire gauge. Wipe through with the side of your thumb to allow good contact. Lift the tape at a shallow angle to prevent damaging the unbonded gauge. Remove it from the work surface. Position the gauge with the alignment triangles over the burnished alignment mark on the aluminum beam. Secure the tape. Reposition if necessary again lifting the tape at a shallow angle. Lift the tape at a shallow angle to expose the bonding side of the gauge an additional one quarter inch. Next we will apply catalyst, apply adhesive, then bond the gauge. You will need to apply a very thin coat of catalyst to the bonding side of the gauge. Remove excess catalyst from the brush by wiping several times on the inside of the bottle. Using the side of the brush, coat the bonding side of the strain gauge with a thin layer of catalyst wiping beyond the gauge onto the tape before lifting. Wait one minute to allow the catalyst to dry. Fold a gauze sponge into quarters to prepare for the next step. Place a drop of adhesive on the beam surface right beside the tape. Align the gauge tape assembly over the bonding area. Wipe the gauge tape assembly down onto the surface with the folded gauze sponge. Apply immediate firm thumb pressure for one minute. When removing your thumb, apply a twisting action to release your thumb from the beam. Wait an additional two minutes before removing the tape back upon itself. This completes the bonding process. You should inspect the gauge installation. Be sure there is good adhesive flow around the gauge and no voids under the grid area. Bulletin B127 describes all the steps I have just performed. An additional video will show the soldering operation.